Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to F Hand of Fate 2. I don't often get to play sequels to roguelikes that I loved in the past, but here we are, and this is probably one of my favorites. Hand of Fate 1 was a phenomenal game, marred a little bit by, you know, kind of clunky controls and kind of mean R RNG here and there, but like, ultimately it was a really fun game and a really good idea, and probably one of the best... Uh, Fine roguelites on the market. Semantics, I know, but uh, still. Anyway, let's let's get going. This game looks amazing. I saw it back at PAX South, uh, the beginning of the year, and they're like, "Yeah, it's coming out in like a couple weeks," and I'm like, "Oh," but that that was not true. Your memories are fading even now, gone to form the soul of the game we play. These pieces are new. As are the stakes, life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. Make your first choice, and let us set these wheels in motion once more. Huh. I can be male or female. He looks like- the dealer looks a lot worse this time around. Let's play as the chick. Originally, I thought you were only going to be able to play as the chick. And we played as the dude for the last one, so we might as, we might as well just, These uh... These represent your history and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. The fool steps into nothingness. Because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate, and together we will write your history. You've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you are determined to proclaim your father's amulet. You finally catch sight of the thieves, hacking at a large tree and arguing amongst themselves. Let's see, move closer to eavesdrop or keep your distance. Eh, move closer. Every element of the game has been improved, even those that seem at first glance familiar. Do not worry, you will soon understand the nuances. Creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting orders. It's simple, he says. The idiots walk down the road, and you push it over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight, and we'll get rich. Why don't we just jump out and stab them? One retorts. Another hooder, hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't like to put up a fight either. Frustration rises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts. But a drop, a, but drop a corpse on the royal road, and the place will be filled with soldiers before you're even. You've even spent the coin. We don't need that trouble. Now, quiet. Here they come. You soon spot a group of farmers coming around the corner, bringing their wares to market. The thieves fell the tree into the path of the unsuspecting farmers and leap out, weapons brandished. Give us all your food. Uh, let's see. Eh, leap to the farmer's defense. Interesting, so we will have allies nowadays uh, for this game, and we actually get multiple choices. So it really does get choose your own adventure. -y. I like that. You draw your weapon with practice skill. Well, you hear the leader's voice. You lads handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. I hope we don't have to see this cutscene every single time. It's a little long. They have definitely improved this. Thug. Violence for the sake of violence and theft for the sake of money. Thieves attack frequently and can evade standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. Okay, so finishers, left trigger, weapon abilities, right trigger, attack, defend, bash, evade, camera move. Gotcha. So if you've ever played any of the Arkham games, oh. If you've ever played any of the Arkham games, this 
Ow. This is going to be kind of similar. Uh, to what you might be used to. I forgot I can counter. Okay, so I've killed a couple of them. So I... So I get charge on my abilities. Ow! I thought I'd stunned him out. Whatever. We'll learn. I'll get better. It's been a long time since I've played anything with Arkham Combat, so it's <laughs> it's gonna take some time. The farmers, farmers fumble in their haversacks in gratitude. Thank you, Venture. I'm sure that after they took our food, they would have taken our lives as well. So we get seven. We get a ton of food. You fall on the food with a sigh, shoveling bread in your mouth to quell your hunger. Your satisfaction only lasts for a moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the takings. The leader must have it. You set to your feet, determined to find him. While enjoying... Okay, a friend in need. While enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your camp. It's a goblin dressed in what it must pass for goblin finery. From beneath a filthy fox pelt serving as an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. Aha! I've been roaming for hours trying to find you. We must get over this over with this quickly. If I have any hope of getting to all the people on my list before sunrise. It lowers a sack from his shoulder. Now, from within my sack, I can conjure whatever your heart desires. The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could if there wasn't a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into the bag and his bulbous nose protrudes from the bench. A new plan then. The goblin pulls out the last of his trinkets. All right, a sword, an ax, or a shield. Let's go sword. Oh, here we go. So sword, critical strike requires 10 hits. Perform a powerful strike, 250% damage on a single target. Repost against northerners, repost deals 25% damage and one-handed. Can repost between combo attacks. Additional defense from shield is useful against North Northerners. Warrior's Axe. So, same thing, but the combo counter is shorter. Uh, against Corrupted Enemies, Bash causes additional damage when armored. Heavy. Bash deals additional damage to armor. Okay. And a shield. Use Defend to Reflect Attacks from Ranged Enemies. Oh, that's useful. So the sword does less damage, the axe does more, might be slower, and the shield can reflect ranged weapons. Let's go shield. I need to learn how to block anyway. Simple defense. You can do better given time. A wise choice. Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off into the night. His fox wings slapping, flapping in the evening breeze. You can change equipment in the inventory. All right, well, let's switch the shield out for, yeah, we've got the right shield. This card has a token. Can you find it? Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for a lemon cake. As they dash off to peer under a nearby log, the child shouts back, remember if you meet the forest folk, Give me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an eerie song hangs in the e air. You attempt to find its origin. You follow the song through the thicket and stream until you find an open glade bathed in golden light. You find an aged maiden, her posture bent like the boughs of a forest. It has been 12 winters since I last had a visitor. Her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in your ears. You may visit me when you are in need, adventurer. This is yours now. Even if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all. Or at least, started it all for you. A trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers leads you to the thieves who had stolen your amulet. It seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader. Weapons drawn. Everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Whoever heard 
of a thief talking about fair shares, spits one. You turn up and boss us around and we barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I stabbed anyone. Days! The leader notices you approaching and waves you over. As much as I'd love to continue this discussion regarding my stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. As he greets you, he whispers, Keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for your trouble. Tell him gold cannot replace the amulet he stole. He holds up a finger. First rule of negotiation, never let them know what you want. Kill my associates and I'll gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thieves draw their blades and mug you. Uh, to mug you. The, the leader runs away to hide. Give us, uh, give us your stuff or we'll stab you, growls one of them. You continue, uh, consider your options. Fight. You draw your weapon and prepare to deal with the miscreants. Tip, perform quick repose by attacking immediately after defending an enemy attack. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go through this every single time. I think it's shorter, but maybe it's just because, yeah, it's, you know, I've already grown used to it. All right. So, oh, interesting. You can miss if you're moving to attack. That's cool. I wonder if I can keep pressing Y. Oh, I see. I just wiggled my shield at them. I was curious about that. Well, we're doing fine. The animations, the music, the combat feels better. Mostly. Dodging might not be as uh, good as it once was, though. You could dodge some crazy nonsense if you knew what you were doing. With the bot battle, uh, with the bottle resolved, with the battle resolved, the le thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He holds out a hand. My name is Maliclips, bard extraordinaire. His f smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands in surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here. I'm an upstanding citizen, just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really. They were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls an amulet out from his pockets and presses it into your hands. All is forgiven, yes? You stare at the amulet. It does not look familiar. Oh, Malcolm says, scratching his head. He opens a small satchel. So, which one is yours? So, lion, pharaoh, ox, bird. Bird! The eagle amulet. Eh, that suits you. Very similar facial structure. Say, would you know I'm lonely? You're lonely. We should work together. You've befriended Malaclips the trickster. We should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be friends for life, Malaclips says. Tell me, where are you from? Interesting. Oh boy. Um Huh. I guess we'll go with this. I'm mainly having trouble with that hairdo. Oh, we can change the color, too. I was hoping I could give her a full head of hair. Well, we could just go with totally bald. <laughs> or I could go with this. Because that ponytail, uh, kind of forgot what physics was. Let's, let's just go with no hair. Oh. So th this is this. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. And can I change my my overall colors? I'm kind of liking that. Let's see if there's anything particularly wander body. Not really. Yeah, let's go with that then.
From Clearwater, eh? You don't say. Good source from Clearwater. Very trusting. Oh, by the way, I mean... I... I mean... We, friend. Oh, money... I... I mean, we, friend. Oh, money to Vignus of the Thieves Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should journey to Mirebridge together and appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. Malclip's eyes are rather pretty... Traitor hiking up the road. So it'd be best if you got the gold. And I'll meet you there. So we can look at the map. All right. Let us learn what sort Arm wrestling. Of you are. Strong, clever, wise. The circumstances under which you come here put the lie to that. Okay, you enter into a competition of strength at a fair. A gold prize is available for the winner. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the diminutive Roland, a halfling from a traveling troop of acrobats. These dice are another small game embedded in our game. Okay. Roland is no match for your strength. He gives a disappointed backflip off the table and collects his meager winnings, then cartwheels out the door. You take your reward from the purser on the way out of the tavern. When you return, you will com when you return, you will complete in the next round for a or compete in the next round for a larger prize. Interesting. Okay. The roads have become even more deadly since the Empire has come to power, despite their promises of the opposite. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage, and a woman is calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? Help her. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Problem is, it's just pure dice rolls, which Victory. you are learning. A lot of chance. I I kind of prefer the the uh, the events that don't require chance as much because my luck is variable, and I kind of prefer these to be. Eh, whatever. Anyway, thank you. The woman says as you help her from the carriage. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. We get fifteen more gold, and some supplies. Hell yeah. Water is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. What is it you're thinking of? What concern is worrying at your mind? Let it fall into the waters beneath. Can I go into the settings for a second? Okay. Wow. No blood subtitles. Absolutely. Red, green. Twitch. I can set Twitch integration. Yeah, I will be streaming this game past this point. I'm going to turn down the sound effects a little bit. Display, everything there is good. Settings are fine. Cool. Okay, hopefully by having subtitles, uh, it'll be easier to tell when he's stopping talking. I don't know. I'm not used to uh, indie games being voice acted, period. Anyway, while cra crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous band. You can stand and fight the fiends, or throw yourself into the mercy of the river below. Stand and fight. Ready your weapon. Four of Blight. So, rats, maybe? We'll see. Uh, there was something about it. Northern... Northern... Men of the North. Northerners. Northmen. Uh, but also the Corrupted. Oh. Wait. This is the same stuff on the dealer. Inflicted. The first touches of corruption bring forth the darkest elements of their victims. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when their health is low. Use a finisher before they recover. Hello. Ow. I was too busy looking at the... Ow. There we go. I wonder if I get to customize my character later. I'd love to see what the uh, male customization looks like. Interesting, the corruption almost looks like it's plant-based. So I have to finish these guys to kill them off. 
I guess that's a mechanic from the previous game, too, in a way. Having spilled your enemy's blood, you search the bodies for anything useful. We get equipment. We get the warrior's axe. Sure, why not? And a health potion. Celebrations in aid of what? You see how quickly the actions of the usurper are turned into tales for children. Nearing the sleepy hamlet of Dulwich, you find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. Much of the activity concerns a large paper and wood statue depicting a fearsome warrior looming triumphantly over a prone lizard man. Oh. So, is some of this in reference to the previous game then? I assume there's continuity for it. Alright, let's ask a local what's going on. A friendly stable hand explains. In a bygone age, our town was beset by half men, half lizards. There was no food and no respite and very little hope. Salvation came in the form of a nameless warrior who hunted the beast for little more than a handful of coins and a crust of bread. He smiles warmly at the festivities. We honor the warrior like this. The statue is filled with food and gold and we take turns smashing it to bits with the club. You're welcome to join us, but you and you may keep whatever falls out. Alright, sure. Okay, the parade ends in the town square. You watch as the villagers take turns smashing the statue with the club and gathering the food and gold that spills out. A local notices your interest and asks if you would like a turn. Join in. You bring the club down with a thunderous crack that silences the crowd. As the statue splits open, they erupt into a boisterous roar. Coins and sweets flow freely from the huge cavity you created. You survey the spoils and try and scoop them up before anyone else can. Alright. Ah, only 10 gold. You can kind of watch the cards, and I think it works, actually. You scramble to gather the bounty you unleashed. Would you like to try and gather more? Sure. Okay. So we get three food. And then I think I'm going to stop. You leave the town celebrations with whatever you've gathered. Here we come to the end of the beginning running errands for mavis this will become a theme i dare say you arrive at Meyerbridge as the sun begins to dip below the horizon you find mal maliclips perusing a selection of cheeses by the market ah if it isn't my good friend the adventurer did you bring the gold vignus vignus has arranged to meet me at the graveyard eh, keep exploring go to the graveyard you wonder whether the spot was chosen for its occlusion or its easy body disposal. Vignus meets Maliclips with a sly grin. Looks like you were turned up after all. And with a lackey in tow, we had had our doubts, you know. Vignus cracks his knuckles and giggles. Well now, Maliclips. Oh, no, v Vignus. Well now, Maliclips. Convince me. What's to stop me from cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Malaclip scrunches in his pockets for some too. The heavy satchel of riches lands at Vignus's feet with a thud that echoes through the silence of the cemetery. That's our deal done, Malaclip says, worry obvious in his voice. No need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal. Vignus grins. You should have known the guild was never going to let you pay your pay with cash stolen from our members in the first place. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I really like this. The writing is better. It's more interesting. It's probably still going to be equally merciless, but it does feel a lot better. Vignus the Crazed. Treacherous and greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchists throw flaming bombs that cause fire damage. Your armor is of no use to you here. Okay. Okay, so axes. Axes do not provide the same benefits. Oh, 
Okay, so that's just telling me where the boss is. I was wondering about that. Ow. Okay, so I can still defend with an axe. It just doesn't give me the same... Run! Okay. I think I was mid-animation. Well, hello, Vignus. I think I'm good. Yeah, the, uh, the UI, the avoidance feels a lot better. The animations are much better. And performance is pretty good. I think I had some choppy bits in the first game. Could be wrong, though. Malaclip scratches his chin thoughtfully. It seems you could do with someone savvy to help you navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy. Like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let us discuss our partnership over an ale or two. Well Alright, so I can open it up. We've cleared the first challenge, and now we can move on to the next. Alright, so we get the Cardinal Blade and the Bastion of Purification. And we also get Market Thief, Tarts, Pies, and Exotic Lies, Fork of the Road, and Arm Wrestling. And for Befriending Malaclips, we get Malaclips's Problem and the Trickster. Music is solid, too. I really, I like this song right now. I, I, I might actually just have to listen to the soundtrack at some point. Or ask the devs for a copy if they give it to me. I should, I should be a little bit more greedy with that and see if I can get more soundtracks from devs. Because there's some good music here and I'd love to listen to it. So for Finding the Forest Folk... Actually, I want to listen to this for a bit. Technically, it's nothing any spe anything special, but it just sounds good to me today. So what do we get? The Old Maiden. Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Okay, so the Fool, the Magician. So it looks like, um, it looks like the entire point of this is tarot. I mean, obviously. So Fool, Magician, Tower, Emperor, so on and so forth. I think 22 is uh, fairly poignant for uh, tarot as well. But, yeah, they really ramped up the production values on Hand of Fate 2 compared to Hand of Fate 1. Not to say Hand of Fate 1 isn't still fantastic, but this is remarkably better in every way that I can see. And that means I can't wait to play more. But for now, I'm going to call it quits because these tend to take a little while. And I'd like to have as much of this uh, done live as possible. I don't know. There's Twitch integration, which I kind of want to mess with. Uh, so, I will be... I will be streaming this, I guess, tomorrow, tonight. Kind of depends on your, your timing, but I will probably be streaming a whole bunch of this. It's a fun game. I really like it. And if you like, if you liked the Batman Arkham games uh, or Shadow of War, Mordor, whatever, uh, you'll at the very least <clears throat> like the gameplay for this. The uh, the actual, like, roguelike elements and stuff, they might be a little bit weird, but I really like them. It uh, Replayability is always cool. And I love the gear combinations and, like, the effects and stuff that you can get from this. And I love the previous one, and this already promises to be better in every way. So, I guess with that, I... Uh, uh, if you like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, oh boy, am I going to uh, beat this game. And then some. Uh, they usually release some DLCs after the fact that add more to the game. Uh, which I will cover this time around for sure. And then there's also Endless Mode, which could be interesting and could kick my ass. Uh, it really, really beat me into the ground in the previous game. Uh, but I guess there's that. And of course, if you want more Hand of Fate immediately, I've got like 30-something episodes, I believe, of the previous game. And uh, that's a fair bit to get through. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that too, if you cho choose to t check it out. There will be a link at the end of the video, which is in like a couple of seconds, because I will see you guys on the next episode of Hand of Fate 2. Uh, so, see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.